we are creating a watering system for our chicken so we're using this old igloo cooler and then this part here you see that hole in the bottom that's where the original spout was this is what it looks like on the outside so far we have here a female coupler which is attached to a schedule 40 half inch pvc and then it's attached to a shot of valve and then here's another half inch schedule 40 pvc and then a female to male threaded coupler let's look at the other materials that we have in here now this is called a chicken water cup got this from amazon and then we have this schedule 40 half inch pvc there are some here that are already cut um, these are four inches long and then um, here's the setup that we have so the cup comes with a t this is actually pretty cool and then you're gonna attach this to the pvc pipe so it goes right here so that's what we have and then this is the end so it has an end cap and that's the glue that we're using cleaner and primer all in one now we're adding another one so that's the glue and then we get another pvc uh, the the cup with a t attached to it so now we have four in that line and you just have to hold it a little bit it doesn't take a long time for it to dry make sure it's straight now we're adding the pvc pipe add the glue and then attach it to the T of the chicken cup drinker and then hold it for a little bit we just realized that it's not very easy to make all of the cups level so you might wanna draw a like straight horizontal line it's gonna be your reference to where you will put the cup so all of them will be in the same level so here he's added another line using a sharpie and getting ready to attach the next cup okay apply the glue again and then add the cup That looks pretty level. This open end right here is where the water will enter. We're gonna attach this to a tube that is connected to the water storage, which is the igloo cooler. So we're adding a threaded coupler mm -hmm. to another PVC pipe still holding it it's right there see if we can focus on that okay so that and then we need to apply glue on the other end of the pvc pipe and we're going to attach it to the open end of the cup or the the t of the cup right there So yeah, this is ready to attach to the tube. This is how we set up the drinker inside the chicken run. So we have a total of 12 drinking cups. And then let's move closer. You can see that there's, yeah, there's water in here. Yeah, there's water in all of them. Whenever we set this up last night, 
and we released the water, we had a little issue because the cups got so heavy and since there are 12 of them, they were leaning this way, pouring the water out. And then this morning when I checked, the cooler was already empty. So, and this, that's why there's water in here. It's still a little bit wet now. But um, I came here and tied this so i used wire these are the wire that i've saved from the ones they used to wrap around the roll of poultry wire and then i tied the wire here to support the the t of the cup and then i tied it into the hole of the t post um, and then tied it around. I just made sure that it will hold the weight. Now what I did, because there are three T-posts that are supporting this whole structure of the automatic drinker. Um, what I did was I tied one here that's directly on the T-post and then I tied the other T's of the cups with the same wire and tied it into the T-post. So that's how I did it. structure tie this I got a tie in here and a tie in here and tie them back here and then the middle part is tied onto three of the the cups T's so one two three and four okay uh, that by the way that's four um, and then let's see where I tied this right here and then this one is tied to the top of the T um, this one is tied to the top of the T and then here on the right side I did the same thing that's the same way and they're all tied up here so basically what this wire does is it keeps the cup from spilling the water by keeping it horizontal because the cups get so heavy when they are full of water and so whenever i added this wire the wire helps stabilize the structure so that the cups don't pour the water out and then i'm going to show you the connection so this is the connection here you see that um, and then there's a tube that goes into an old cooler that i showed you earlier I think this uh, black tube is the one that you use for the um, for the washer, if I'm not mistaken. And then I'm gonna show you the front of the cooler. It's really cool, guys. So this is our water tank, um, a plastic table. <laughs> this is little tykes. This is the an old table for my child. He's not using it anymore. And then we put an old cooler because we have like three coolers. So I was like, we'll just use the the old cooler for this and i already have filled this with water and then the connection is here so that and then if we don't want water to drip into the cups we can just turn this off and then the top i left this open that's why there are leaves but i mean you can keep that clean and then this is shaded most uh, of the time um, whenever the sun moves uh, on the other side this should get some shade and then I have so that's my garden and then I have the water hose so basically um, I can just come here and spray water that's how I feel the cooler now I don't have to carry a bucket of water from my house to the chicken run because it's really heavy and this one saves me a lot of time because um, this cooler will probably provide a few days worth of water for 10 chickens and so I am very thankful to have this kind of structure if you want to know the breakdown of the expenses for this automatic chicken drinker you may comment down below. That's going to be all for today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.